So we are using our Rugged Radio's portable intercom down here to get this sound out to you guys. Uh, we haven't put a radio in this car yet. We will. Oh my god! I'm sorry. Oh my god! Some big ass dragonflies. on the video the rest is the hard part I gotta go take a shower uh -huh. uh, so I I've been using that like a like a fake wheel bonnet homemade fake wheel bonnet uh -huh. so what I've been doing I check this I go back here hook to this one underneath like a so over the tire um, go to this uh, front strap because this actually the welds broke on the other side and this side's breaking as well so, Just don't scratch it <laughs> and uh, Yeah At least for a minute, right? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Strap the seats down. No, get, get over the doors. Get over, yeah. <laughs> That way the doors don't come loose. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, hey, you're, you're hugging this side really close, and so let me just give you a warning. You want me to move Ooh. over? No, no, you're good. And right. when we get there, be really careful careful pulling out, because that, that spare tire strap, I took out a tire on that. Okay. The spare tire mount, I gashed a tire right up. Uh, I aggressively drove on the trailer, and yeah. All right, I'm going to take a shower. You guys have fun. There's a, a whole bag of them. You know what? They might have ended up in the trailer, in I'll the toy around. hauler. I'll dig around. Uh, you'll have to, let me go open the back door because it's broken. All right. What's going on here, guys? We're Getting ready to head out. Yeah, where are yeah. we going? I guess we're going to the mountains, I guess. I'm just following. That's all I know. You're following? I'm following. You're following? Nope. I'm following. Just, we're just gonna go. Where are we going? Going to hit some trails. Yeah. Take the 2020 out for the first ride. We're gonna get some sweet jumps too. Yes, yeah, sweet jumps. Okay. Let's, go, let's go see what we got out here. Let's go take a look. So we got this. With trip in the back, our Can Am X3. We got the new rig over there. On my old truck. 
an old truck that I've had for a long time with the new Razor on our flatbed. And then we got uh, 2016 Turbo Razor. And then we got uh, Uriah's rig. Look at this beast. This is the uh, Evo Stage 5. I'm not going to say it all again. I say it every time. He's ready to rip. Look at that. Looking good. Our brand new car over here. I think we're ready to do this. So, let's go make this happen. What do you think? Trail riding. You guys have been asking for some trail riding for a while, some of you. So we're going to go do it right now. Trail riding time. Let's go do this thing. We are in the mountains, somewhere you never see us. We're headed up to Bald Mountain uh, Tamarack Snow Park to do a little riding, some trail riding, something that we hardly ever do, but we, we're thinking we're going to do more of it. It's only a couple hours away from home, less than that. Yeah. Beautiful. It's awesome. Cooler so far, I think. Um, it's starting to cool down for sure. It's definitely going to. We're going to be at like seven, 8,000 feet or more. Yep. We're going to climb to the top of Bald Mountain, and we're going to do it in a... we got our Can-Am trusty old trip with us, but we also have... What do we got? We have a brand new 2020 Razor XB Pro. woo -hoo! And we've driven it around, I don't know, we might have put a mile on it uh, around the neighborhood because, you know, we can't do that. It's not legal. It's not legal. So we haven't really got to rip it. So today's the day. Today's the day for really the first rip in the new RZR. Um, so I feel like we're going to name him Zip because Trip and Zip. Trip and Zip. Because it's zippy for sure. I know that we've already, I, although we've only gone through the neighborhood in it, it goes. 181 yeah. horsepower. It does run good. A small it's package. Good. Yeah. 96 inch long car, 64 inch wide. Perfect for the trails out here, I'm thinking. We got that new improved seating position, so you're lower into the cockpit. Although you can raise and adjust your driver's seat because I can reach the pedals and see over the dash. Thank you, Polaris. Yeah. Um, it's nice. So here that turbo got that power. It definitely launches quick. You get your power band is in between. I think it said where you get 20 to 50 miles per hour is where it's making its power in that car, which is yeah. where you want it, right? What about RPMs? RPMs. What do we say? I don't know. That's all, that's all stuff we're going to explore a lot more in the future, for sure. Uh, this car is going to get a lot of attention. We're going to do a lot of video. Uh, it's going to get tuned. It's going to get clutch tuned. ECU tuned. Uh, not, I mean, out of the box, it's a really, it's a, it's 30 more horsepower than our 2017 Can-Am was. Out and of the a box. smaller. And it's a smaller package. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, 64 inches wide, which may change for us. We'll see what happens on that. 64 um, inches wide, but you know, but there's some, they did a lot of improvements on actually like when I'm reading all the stuff about the clearance and like the freaking wheel travel and all the different upgrades they've done to the actual machine itself. It seems like I don't know, we'll see. I'll definitely say this for being the Walker Evans shocks, for being only 64 inches wide, it corners super flat. Would you I, say it corners like it's on rails? Yeah, I don't know why. You, you can get it, not that we ever have or would, but you can get it sideways on asphalt and it doesn't feel, you don't feel the body roll. It just seems to stay flat. Which they is, have, yeah. Which is pretty good. I mean, that's that's a task for that much suspension. So yeah. I'm impressed so far. Yeah, and I did see, I mean, I saw a commercial or something. I don't know, it wasn't you definitely, but like a little sideways action. It seemed like it was still planted, so. Yeah. All right, well, what we're gonna do is head up to the mountains. I gotta we'll focus on the road. It's really windy. It makes me sick. I like to ride bulls and glamis. I do not like to ride windy wood roads in a slow moving vehicle. Not my thing. Nope. So we will be back. Shoot. Okay, so today we're heading up to the hills with the new car, right? First rip in the razor. First rip in the new razor. Oh, look at that. We got the crew with us. We got Rob, we got Uriah, we got um, Travis, we have DJ and Chels finally able to come with us again. Uh, look at that guys. We're up here up high. We're heading up to Bald Mountain Which Should be awesome, right? Are you excited? It's gonna be really awesome. I can't wait. We haven't done any trail riding in a long time So I'm pretty yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what this is all about I don't And we have a brand new car. And we have a brand new car. Yeah. 
And our, basically the Can-Am is kind of brand newish too because... A fresh tune. Fresh tune. We got some 93. We didn't make gas. We didn't. We, we weren't there. We weren't. I wasn't there. I am apologizing. I missed the gas. He missed the gas. But I'm sorry. Well, I'm again. It's not your fault. You were working. I know, but still. Okay, I'm going to fix this. <laughs> uh, we're slowing down because we got an issue with our... Uh, I always let people pass. What a very considerate young man. <laughs> we got Uriah up there. Yep. Yeah, sorry, we're distracted because we're driving the crit. We've, we've, we've just been uh, pedal to the metal all the way up the four lanes. Very, very steep. I don't know, a couple mile run? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, we got a big trailer. We, we, we brought the big trailer for a day run. Weird, right? Well, we want bathroom. We want refrigerator. We want... Um, we like to rough it in the mountains. You know, we haven't taken our... Oh, gosh. Bicyclists are just... These are the crazies. Um, we have not taken our trailer anywhere since the COVIDs, right? We haven't. So, this is like a much needed... Uh, no, don't. We can't just stop when you do that, dude. Are you crazy? Guys. Okay, anyways, I too am a cyclist and I would never, right? Yeah, but you're not a gang cyclist. That's true. All right, well, I'm gonna uh, peace out on this for a moment. You know what it is? It's like this whole, yeah. I think the altitude and the weight, curvy roads have this thing just freaking out. All right, so we had to stop for some fuel. Yeah. Oh, and food. And food. Ooh. What kind is that? Uh, Cajun style. Ooh. One more. Okay. That looks really yeah. good. Yeah. Delicious. That one likes the gas station chicken. Yeah. There you go. All right. We had a little, we ran a little bit of damage. Our, our latch broke on our toolbox. It blew, the lid blew up. Stretched our brand new trailer. We lost our toolbox. Our, I mean, our trash can. We lost our, uh, oh, our, what do you call that thing? Floor mat. Floor mat thing. The big one that goes on front oh, of the trailer. Almost lost. No, they got it. It's not good. And how's it going? Are you ready for a ride? We're ready. If we ever get there. <laughs> Look at that rig. Everybody's heading up to the hills because it is hot. It's going to be like 107 in town today. So everybody's headed for the hills. These guys like to go up and crawl around. So yeah, you know we're in the we're in the, <laughs> we're in the mountains now. Look at this. We have to stop for some cows. Oh my! <laughs> Look at the cows. Oh my goodness! We don't ever get to see wildlife. Wildlife. Well, let me show them the line of traffic behind us. Okay, here. All the cows have to stop. We have to stop for all the cows. Remember how you said cows were gonna get smart and take over the world? Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Where are we? We made it. No way. 
We way. made it to Tamarack Snow Park. We're gonna pull in this big ass parking lot and hopefully there's room for us. There better be. Look at it, there is. I don't know. Wow, I hope there really is. Do I need to get out and do any flagging or anything? No. Oh, I see you right. Yeah, we'll just go back a little bit and then on left. You know what? All right, we're going to be unloading this car here. Um, and then we're going to do some riding. I don't even remember what it's like to ride in the mountains. Huh. I have no idea. I don't remember. I know it's dusty, but not this time, folks. I get to use my pumper. Yep. That's right. Last time we rode up pumpers. here. Yeah, pumpers. Last time, uh, I remember there was a lot of dust going around. We had, yep. we didn't have full face helmets. I just remember getting out of the car and like the whole top of my face was like from right here up dirt. That's gonna be me. Is it gonna be you? Yeah. Oh man. Well, I have some bandanas. I got one. I don't know. I don't know. Well, with this guy, this guy. Ah, he's emerging out into the sunlight. This poor car hasn't hit any trails. Nothing in months. COVID. A little tight, a little tight area over here. Your mom has a tight area. Yay! Okay, so far so good. Beep, beep. Let me go behind you. Okay. Hey, are you guys so excited? Uh, I'm pumped, ready to ride. You guys ready? You guys haven't been riding, guys. First unload. First unload. Okay. Your ride's trying to kill me. Here we go. My new little baby, isn't he beautiful? He looks like his big brother. Yeah. Nice. Uh, first time. Who's the babies? Travis, you ready for this ride? Ready for it. Awesome. Me too. You ready? Ready. So what do you think? What do you really think? What do I really think? Because yeah. I'm ready to ride. It's been way too long. Yeah. It's been what? A couple years? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Two and a half. So we went ahead and picked up this new machine so that they can rip. Finally. Finally. All right. We got Rob over here. Rob's unloading, getting his rig ready to go. Look at that, pretty much brand new machine right here too. Are you ready, Mr. Uh, Mr. Azevito? Yes, sir. Are you ready for some ripping? Yeah. Ready, brother. All right. Yeah, it's ready. It's kind of weird. You run around here for like a little bit and you got that little whoo sort of breath. Yeah. It's the thinner air. Yeah. I keep forgetting that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna hit the trail right now and do this thing. Oh damn it, I didn't start the GoPro. Son of a motherless goat. Yeah, edit that out, right? The cat he does it. You know what? Look at up here we got our crew with us, so we got a... Uh, Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful car. We got the RZR uh, XP Pro right here that we just bought, the 2020. We got DJ and Charles and that, our new little baby. We're in trip. Um, we got Uriah and Travis up ahead. Uh, Rob is somewhere. Is he pulling up the rear? Rob's pulling up the rear. He's watching our babies, all of them, the little baby car and the baby kids. Can you bring that mayor in a little bit for I me? I sure will. If I can, let me get scooch this way. How's that? 
uh, is uh, out a little bit. We are participating in the National Dirt Drift Championships here in Tamarack Snow Park. I'm lucky to have grabbed a seat with uh, world-renowned driver Darren Hoover. Sir, how are you feeling on this fine start today? I feel like I got this under control. Let's find out right now, Eddie. Yes, let's show it. Oh, uh, sir, that, um, that makes me feel like I know why you got the uh, trophy. 12-time champion here. Um... Up ahead, we actually got Travis right there in his RZR. We got Uriah leading the way. He must be just like scoping out the scene at an old woman's place. We got um, <laughs> we got our boys back there. We got our kiddos. We got DJ and Chess and our and our new little RZR Pro, our XP Pro, the 2020, and Cruiser Black to match his brother Trip. And back in the back, watching over there. Can't laugh over here to the right. It's beautiful. Wait, uh, what? What do you say? Excuse me, I camped with uh, Frank and them right here. Oh, it is nice. That's cool! Yeah, they're real nice back in there. They're real shady. Um, we got, uh... Your mom's real shady. Uh, your mom is pretty shady. Uh, so our next ride, we'll go through that trail, because that leads us uh, to a nice little fucking place. There's a fucking tire up. Are we, uh, low? Hey, DJ, does my uh, passenger side rear tire look low? Your, uh, rear passenger side? Correct. No, it does not. No. Uh, no. No, it doesn't. Hey, Darren, I got an onboard compressor here in case we need air. Taking over some recording for Brandy. She's actually up there, up there on this hill, recording. Let me see if I can do this climb. We're going to climb up this mountain, this rock, whatever it is. I just climbed a mountain, so I can film this, watch. Yeah, I'm out of breath. Doesn't look steep. Oh yeah. It felt a little steepish. Uriah. I'll see if I can hold on to this camera while we do this.
How'd that go? Oh, that was a blast. Were you in two-wheel drive? Felt like it, huh? It looked like your fronts weren't even turning. Well, this car's three-wheel drive. Hold on, let's... Yeah, yeah. You hit the first hit and the front, front tires were locked and you were spinning the back. Yeah, look. Yeah. He got hooked. I was like, oh, yeah. two-wheel drive. Well, his back right tire was yeah. Nice. Is that when you got when you spun the first time? The front was just I guess we need two four-wheel drive for this four-wheel drive stuff. Is your Jeep us running? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Because you're lost from here. Mm -mm. I know how to go all the way over here, and I'm kind of done up that, and it goes everywhere. Okay. So how was that hill climb back there? How'd it go? <laughs> well, that was interesting. So, um. Uh, See, you know, I went up, no issue. Travis went up, no issue. I hit it. You'll see the issue in the water. Yeah, I'll show it right here. I hit the water, started spinning tires, got stuck, had to buck back up. I'm like, well, I'm not doing that again. So I got a little aggressive and smacked it. We'll show that. Made it up, stopped. We're hanging out. DJ, my son, right behind us in the new Razor. No problem. Zip, zip, right to the top. Yeah, we get out, we're talking. Rob says, hey, you look like you're on uh, 2 dive. We're on 2 dive. We're on 2 dive. So that was just, uh, what you're saying, sir, is that that was just, uh, you're just testing it out, the capability of this machine? Yeah. And what are your, uh, what are you, what's the vote? What's wow. the verdict? Power. Power. Evil power? Power, powder, still. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you heard it here, folks. And here we are. Do a little trail riding up here. What a beautiful day. We're up in the probably like high 70s, maybe low 80s at the most, which is about 20 to 30 degrees cooler than it would be down in the valley where we live. Um, it feels great. There's lots of trees. I feel oxygenated. Yeah. And, and we got a, we got a regular radio pumping, pumping away. Yeah, just blowing. There's no dirt in my mask. I don't look like Travis's face. <laughs> Uh, it's a beautiful day. It feels good. We needed this little break. Everybody should get out of the house wherever you can just for a, a day and experience life again. I think we all missed it a little bit during the last few months. And I think uh, I think it was kind of a good lesson. Like, that we haven't been up to the mountains. It's only an hour and a half away. Like, ride where you can. Don't miss your opportunities, right? Sorry. Feels good. Feels really good out here today. Rob, well, you got a copy? I got you kiddos back there. And here we are, climbing this There's hill. There's a lot of rocks out here. Alright, full drive now. Are you for it? Yeah, we're going to give it a shot, full drive. Don't get too close to either. Let's see these. Wow, that's amazingly easier. <laughs> Everybody was far about climbing. Da -da 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 -da
going back into base camp after a little ride. We're going to get some food in our tummies so we can go back out and hit the trails again. Look at this. There, oh, whose trailer is that? Who brought that <laughs> beast? That is ridiculous. Whoever showed up in this parking lot with that. Ridiculous, I know. Oh, my God. Funny. Just for a day trip. What are you going to do? Okay, so we just got back from that rip. How'd the car feel? The car's great. Yeah. It's a great car. Me and Brandy haven't even driven our new car yet. No. How many miles? Okay. You probably just put what, 20 miles on it? 10 miles? Oh, yeah, 17. Is it in no shades? Oh, yeah, you like this. It's oh, Travis got all cleaned up. We didn't even get it. We messed up. How do you do it? How do you yes. go up? Yeah. All right. These yeah, guys are ridiculous. Yeah. So here's what happened. So here's what happened. That whole recording we did? Uh-huh. Yeah, it wasn't recording. <laughs> so, what do you think of the new car? I loved it. Yeah. How to compare it to the RZR 1000 NA that we had back a couple years ago? It wasn't as rocky, and it was a lot smoother. Yeah. It didn't feel like... Yeah, and not... Feet. And less body roll? Yes. Yes. All right. And smooth. Set right smooth. We're gonna find out. Bam. Rob finally made it back. Great. He got he got hung up behind a truck. All right, we're gonna have food. What's going on? We're gonna ride in this new uh, RZR, the 2020 XP Pro that we just got, and the kids have been riding it all day. And we're finally gonna take it out for a rip and see how she performs. It looked from the outside to be amazing. So, are you excited? I'm, I'm beyond excited. I'm so hot because I don't have a roof. Look at this. We didn't buy a roof yet. <laughs> no roof. No roof. No air pumper. Yeah, we got nothing. Taking it back to the old school. Here we go. Uh, I cannot. Okay, so what are we doing right now? We are going on our first trip in the 2020. In the car that we already bought. You already know about. You saw a video probably. probably this soon. car? We probably said what it is a million times now, so we're going to do it right now. I'm strapped in, kind of. We don't have harnesses. We have this thing in my jersey. Safety in my belter. Um, oh, wow. Wow. So, yeah. So we are using our Rugged Radio's portable intercom down here to get this sound out to you guys. Uh, we haven't put a radio in this car yet. We Hang will. On, radio them. I need, to, I need to be behind your eye. Uh, oh, wow, this thing's smooth. Huh? This is smooth. I'm not lying to you. So tell me, so far, first impression. Uh, we are not, even, we're not even a quarter mile into this trail, and it feels really good. It does feel good to me, too, as passenger, you know. I'm very sensitive to the movements of the vehicle. Uh, <laughs> but no, honestly, it feels great. Yeah. And uh, the seating position in this car has changed. They've redone the seating position. Yeah. So it's actually you're sitting deeper in the cockpit. You have They added an extra four inches here between driver and passenger. So you have a little more elbow room. Um, they've added a bunch of little like uh, storage compartments here. They have that what would be called an accessory box, I guess. Um, we got places for switches. I know that the wiring, there's like a simple, uh, some type of simple wiring thing going on. We'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, the doors here, the cutouts that you see are directed to, uh, so if debris flies in the car, it goes away from you, not right in your face, in your lap, like the old days. Um, there's no roof on here yet, but there will be soon. I don't know. It feels good to me. Ha um, really good. It feels, um, it's a, of course, a little bit harsher than our car that's all tuned up. Oh, coming up. With, all tuned up with the MTS and stuff, but it's Coffee. really smooth. It feels really planted. Like right there is no bo no body roll right there. No. When I do that, I can actually just feel on this loose gravel, I can feel the rear end kind of just start to fish. But the car itself is flat, super flat. That was not the case in the original. No, seating position lower, some right, of the other improvements that they made. Let's do it, guys. Let's give it a real test, shall we? There's Are we in four? Yeah, there's a camera on the car in front of us, so. Wow, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of juice.
an in-depth review at some point, just going over all the new features, and then we'll talk about them now that we've driven it, how, if we can tell what they are, right? What is it? That's, that's not that. A bee? No, not a bee. Well, uh, something worse than a bee? It's, um, hang on. Okay, what is it? It's not a bee. It's not a bee, babe. It's that. A giant flying bug. You guys want to keep going or turn around? Uh, we're just checking on something. We got a problem, a bug problem. What? Oh my god! I'm sorry. Oh my god! Some big ass dragonflies. Oh my god. What just happened? <laughs> the giant. Hey, we should look on top of this rock and take a group picture. Oh, hell yeah. The giantest bug on the planet of Earth and Mars just flew in the window and was on me and would not get off. It looked like a bird. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm touching it's the bike. It's a It looked like a bird. A pterodactyl. It was the biggest pterodactyl you have ever seen. God. We are riding in our new 2020 RZR XP Pro right now. Uh, we got Cruiser Black. Whoa, to match his brother back there, which is the the old trusty. The big one with here. Yep. Uh, 2017 XR the X3 RS trip, the Ripper. And we're headed to Bald Mountain Lookout Point. We're out here by Shaver Lake in California. If you guys aren't familiar with that, uh, we haven't ridden since the COVID. Um, we typically do a lot of sand and dune riding, but we decided to hit the mountains today, and it's beautiful. I'm glad we did. So, Bald Mountain Lookout, um, we're at like 8,000 minimum, I think, feet plus. I don't know what it is exactly, but, um, we're going to see some views up we're here. here guys. Yeah, we're trying to... There's Shaver Lake down there. Right here's that tree. The tower's right in front of it. I see the American flag. So, we'll come back. Okay, here we are coming down from the top of Bald Mountain. We got the crew in front of us. 
Um, that includes Travis. Uh, we got right in front of us. We got our Can-Am Tripper right there. Why are we going this way? I wonder. Because we can. Look at this. What? Yeah. Not, well, we did it. We did it. Case closed. Anyway, because we can. That's why. I love that. That was the best yeah. thing that happened. Why are we doing this? Because we can. That's right. Because yeah. we, this is a little crawler. And I'm not going to lie. So, Can-Am uh, is definitely better at some stuff. This car, when it comes to crawling around on rocks and stuff, will definitely Well, dominate. I believe that this model is actually, the XP Pro is called Rocks and Trails. Nice. So, that explains a lot right there. Yeah. Um, we have a different seating position. we got a lot. We'll go over all that with you guys. But right now, what we're doing is coming down from the top of Bald Mountain out here near Shaver Lake in California. Our first ride since the Coronas. We're going to come up here a lot more. Wish we'd already done it. Not sure why we didn't live. Uh, but we promise you that from now on, there will be some more trail riding in our future. You guys have asked for some of that. And, uh, you know, historically, we haven't done a lot of it. We're going to be doing more, right? Yep. Catch our guys. Like yeah. all of our crew right everybody. there. You see everybody in that line. You got your Rye up front, Travis behind him. We got Rob. They call him Robert Mello. We got the kiddos, DJ and Chelsea right there in trip. And here we are, me and my honey, in the new RZR uh, XP Pro. 2020 and Cruiser Black to match his brother. I'm trying to think of a name for him. Guys, what do you think? We were trying to find it, fill out his personality. We have some thoughts. Interested to hear what you guys think we should call him. I think we should call him R2. R2? Okay. We could call him R2, um, which is like, you know, the RZR2, because we always like Razor 2.0. We could call him... Because some people don't know. We owned a Razor. For 3,000 miles, we owned a Razor. Right. And now we own, We always say we're vehicle agnostic. We have a Ford and a Chevy. We have a Razor and a Can-Am. You know what we love? Life. Living, having fun, and uh, with things that make that possible. And that's what these toys here, all of these toys that we all have, that's what it means. We love our... We're riding through the dark, dark, treacherous forest. You can't see anything through the dust. This thing's got to have a roof and mirrors, a saplings. We've got no roof. We have no mirrors, not even a rear view mirror, to see who might be creeping up behind us. As if they could catch us. Not worried a little bit, even. <laughs> unless, Bam! Unless you're like, oh, oh my God. Testing it out. We said that we test. Is, <laughs> Put it to work. It's a rough enchilada. Put her to work. A rough enchilada. He just mixes random things together. Oh, hey, guys. Okay. Heading back to, can or to, the, to the truck after what has been an awesome day of riding, wouldn't you say? Awesome, awesome day of riding. Uh-oh. Got to go out with the kiddos. They're right there. They're taking trip out this time on a little rip. We are finally... Uh, we were finally able to try out our new baby, this right here, this 2020 RZR XP Pro. Um, and final thoughts on this new car? Um, it's awesome. It's got a lot of horsepower. It's very planted, um, very responsive. Um, let's see. Shocked, I, I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that it's so planted, being only 64 inches wide. I heard people say that about the you know, the one with the dynamics, and I thought, well, you know, it's probably the dynamics, but this has the Walker Evans. It's the chassis, it's the whole car that makes it planet. Right, coming out. Yeah, it feels really Copy. good. Yeah, it So, um, then the pros and cons. So, on the negative side of things, the throttle, compared to what we're used to, is a little spongy. Um, uh, the ride's a little bit harsh. I know we have a lot of air in these tires. We probably could have pulled some of, some of the air out for a little better ride, but it's going to get, it's definitely some shock tuning and would be in order for, yeah. to be where, to be to a be like that to. car. Yeah. They said, the kids are riding in trip right now, and they said it's like the Cadillac. Of you guys still got a copy on me? We do. Here yeah, we so overall, um, it's awesome. Um, so next, we're going to start tuning it. Next, uh, it's probably going to. Yeah, it's hard to say if we're going to get uh, Evo or Shock Tune first. Kind of depends on uh, when we can hook up with MTS. Kind of depends on what kind of deal we get on some Evo Tune, you know, yeah. whatever. So, but those are the things that are going to happen immediately. Um, then we go from there. And then we go and go and go. And I love yeah. it. And I'm excited to see what happens. And thank you guys for being a part of it. Um, it's been an amazing day. It's been an amazing life, an amazing adventure. 
feel glad and just happy um, to be out, finally out in the world. You guys get out of your house. Get out and do something. Look around. I mean, we're an hour and a half away from this place, and we haven't gone here enough. So find your spot that's close to you and try it out. Do yeah. something new. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of our crazy adventure. Hope you guys stick around. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing that. It does allow us to uh, do some stuff like this. It allows us to keep doing this stuff, which we love doing, and we hope to grow. And we want you guys to come along with us on that, really. Yes, um, definitely. So thank you guys so much. Subscribe, like, comment. We love hearing from you. We still answer every single comment. It might take a little bit longer than it used to, but we do answer all. Join our Facebook group, and if you're inclined, our Patreon link's below, too. We'd really appreciate it. Um, we're just normal people, just like you guys. So thanks for being a part of the crazy adventures of Dandy Off-Road. Um, appreciate it. Peace. Peace.